today we are reviewing Flower Nose. This is the prettiest makeup I have ever seen in my life. I think the packaging. The prettiest packaging I have ever seen. I did this look using all the things. I hope you like it. I already have on some complexion products because the first product we have to try is a setting powder. This packaging is so beautiful that I feel like it's not even actually for using. It is too pretty. This is a Swan Ballet Series Music Box Loose Setting Powder in the shade 03. The little ballet slippers and all the little swans. I don't want to use any of this, but then I guess what is the point in having it if I'm not going to use it? Even the puff is cute. It has a little bow. It has a little bouncy mesh in here, kind of like the old Milk Makeup setting powder. Of course it smells pretty. Of course it does. I always cut the mesh out of the milk powder, but this one I can dump out a generous amount still. And I don't think I could cut this one anyway because it's so pretty. It's really finely milled. Feels like flour. It smells like flowers. I wish you guys could smell this through the screen because it really smells incredible. I have two thoughts about the powder so far. I did half my face and you can see that it's very mattifying. It's very smoothing. My skin looks really lovely, but it is a little bit dry. I feel like it did cling to some of my dry spots that I didn't even know I had. I feel like there's setting powders that add a little bit of extra coverage and then there's some that don't, and then there's some that almost make your skin show through your foundation more. And this is kind of doing that. You know what this feels like? This feels like a finishing powder more than it feels like a setting powder. I feel like this would be nicer on top of already set foundation. Would I use this for the smell alone? Yes. Yes, I would. Would I buy this for the packaging alone? Yes. Yes, I would. In my hands, I have two blushes. I'm going to try them both. Asides from my precious babies, these are the most beautiful things I've ever held in my hands. This is also from the Swan Ballet series in the shade Dreamy Season. I hope my camera is doing this justice. I do not want to touch this with my brush. Yeah, smells nice. I like this packaging even more. This is a Strawberry Rococo series and this is the shade Berry Mary. I don't want to do it. I don't want to ruin it. I have read a little bit about this brand and what people think about the brand and I'm not expecting these to be super pigmented because apparently that's not like what's trendy there like it is here. It hurts! This is kind of exactly what I expected. Not super pigmented but also very pretty. I saw on their website they even have a white blush that I kind of want to get. It's pretty. Like if you're looking for an easy to wear everyday chill blush. Here it is and it's gorgeous. This one is a little bit deeper. Oh this is really pretty. I am a big blush fan so this one is definitely more me. I can already see that it's losing the detail. I'm sad about that but happy about this blush. That is very nice. Next up we have the Pink Swan Six Color Eyeshadow Palette. It has two shimmery shades and then four mattes in the middle. And again, I don't have enough adjectives to describe how beautiful the packaging is. First, I'm going to take this shade here on a small brush. And I'm just going to put that in the crease. They don't feel dry or chalky. And then with a fluffier brush, I'm going to use the really light pink. And I'm going to put that under my brow and blend out that deeper shade of peachy pink. I'm also going to use this shade just to make sure I use all the shades in the palette. And I'm just going to blend this out on top of that other pink shade. Now again with my little brush, I'll use the brown. I'm just going to define my crease and then create a reshade and kind of make a little wing. It's really blendable and buildable. It is a nice eyeshadow. I'll just give it a soft little bit of a blend with that same fluffy brush I used before. I'm going to put that really light pink on my lid with my finger. My finger really ruined the pan. I love the little stamped design on the pans, but it sure does make it sad to use them. I might just press a little bit more of that under my brow too, just to make it pop a little bit more. You can definitely get a lot more pigment with your finger. Then I'm going to take this shimmer. Oh, it's really pretty. It's kind of glossy. It's prettier on my finger than on my eye, but that's okay. 
it's still pretty. I get kind of nervous when I use glittery shimmery eyeshadows because they do seem to bother my eye. But I gotta do what I gotta do. I'm gonna come back to this in a minute. I also have this glittery liner. The lid is all laced up like a corset and it also has the little ballet slippers on top. This is called Crackling Crystal. I want you guys to be closer for this because it looks really pretty. Yeah, that is nice. I was obsessed with glittery eyeliner when I was in high school but it was impossible to find. It has like purple and blue and pink. This might be my favorite so far. Going back into that brown, I'm putting this on a lower lash line and bringing it kind of under where I put that glitter and then connecting it to our little eyeshadow wing up here. And then taking a little bit of this pink and just barely blending it into that brown just to blend it out and soften it a little bit. I'm gonna add a little bit more of this glitter Bring it a little bit farther over under my eye. I really want the inner corner to shine. Now I'm gonna put on some brown liquid liner. This is not from Flower Nose, but this is. I'm just gonna keep the liner really thin on the lid. I am, of course, gonna add a wing. I'm gonna smoke the liner out a little bit so it's not so harsh. Make it a little softer. And I'm gonna add a little bit of white to the waterline. Now I need a little bit of mascara so I can add a lash. I cannot forget to do my eyebrows. That would be embarrassing. Uh, this is a sample lash that I didn't go with for Likely Makeup. And I think that might have been a mistake. Should I potentially revisit this lash style? This actually looks like a really good brow color. So I'm gonna try it on my brows. Oh, it is a good brow color. It matches my hair so good. I was just the other day trying to find an eyeshadow that I could do a quick brow with and I couldn't find a brown that was cool toned enough. I love that for me. I think it might also be a good freckle color. It sure is. Now I have to choose a lip and I have four to choose from. These are a liquid lipstick and they have the most beautiful cap and they have a little mermaid on them. And there's no English on the bottom and I threw away the boxes. So I'll have to find out what they are. It smells like I want to eat it. Oh, it's glossy. Ooh, this one is a maybe. This one is a no, not for this look. I honestly want to lick it off my hand. I will wipe it off immediately so I don't because that would be gross and weird. And then I also have these two lipsticks from the Swan series. Little bow and then the little swans. Oh, it smells like cotton candy. This is Dancing Shoes and this is Sweetheart. This one is the pinkest and I feel like we have a lot of pink going on, so I wanna stick with the pink. Oh, it feels so dreamy on the lips. Gotta add liner. It does kind of work with what I'm wearing. It kind of ties in the red with the pink. I'm gonna add a little bit more blush because it's what I do. That was maybe a little bit too much on the nose. I feel like it's missing a little bit of shine on the cheeks, so I'm gonna take this from the eyeshadow palette because why not put glitter on your face? I feel like that's always a good idea. You know when I said before that the setting powder looked quite dry and it was clinging to dry patches I didn't know I had? I can no longer see that. I don't know if it's slowly just kind of mixed with the foundation, the oils in my face, and went away, or maybe it was a setting spray, but it looks really good. It's really, really matte, and I really like matte setting powder on my forehead, so it might become my new forehead powder. I feel like my forehead looks really flawless. <laughs> Everything I tried was really nice. I don't hate any of it. I quite like all of it. The eyeshadow is nice. I love the color story. I feel like this is a very complete look. I would buy this for the packaging alone, even if the eyeshadow was complete shit. I'm excited to try these at a later date. I'll let you know how this lip product wears. It's super comfortable right now. The color is really pretty. These are my favorite. These stood out the most to me, the glitter liner and the deeper blush. I would like to get more shades of this and this will stay on my desk and so will this. So I can just look at it and smell it and use it on my forehead. Overall, I would absolutely recommend Flower Nose, especially if you love pretty packaging and makeup that smells good. I like both of those things. Please let me know if you like brand review videos, if there are any cruelty-free brands that you would like me to try, and I will see you in the next one.